Hello everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. Today we're going to be talking about evolution. Because on my video about Richard Dawkins, which is just a small clip of him talking to Ben Stein about how he believes there might be proof or evidence in molecular biology and biochemistry for the fact that life may have been seeded by aliens because we can never say that God did it. No evolutionist can ever say that. But they will say that maybe aliens did it. So I got comments on there about evolution. So I just wanted to uh, do a short video because Mr. Abdul says that there are seven things that prove evolution. He only listed four. So I'm going to do a series of videos, and I'm going to hit all four of those. And today, we're going to talk about embryology. And actually, what he's talking about is the recapitulation theory. So today, I'm going to show a couple clips from John Spicer. He is not a creationist. He's not a Christian. He's an evolutionist. And he is going to talk about how even in the eyes of evolutionary biologists, the recapitulation theory is dead. And then we'll get into some articles from Answers in Genesis and the Institute for Creation Research, who both have very great scientists, and they've done tons of research on all these topics. So let's take a look at this clip from John Spicer at a TEDx talk at Plymouth University. And so from a marine biological point of view, the theory of recapitulation just doesn't work. And so the idea that recapitulation is the thing, should be changed. In the 1880s, there was evidence against it. 1920s, 1950s, and the stuff that we've been doing, stuff that Mike Richards has been doing. You'd have thought that would have been enough to put the death knell on this theory. And yet, within the last four or five years, we're finding people, other biologists, are now talking about recapitulation again. And here's an idea which is so attractive that it just won't go away. An idea that's so attractive, but just don't, won't go away. I mean, you heard it from someone who is, he's not a Christian. I don't know why they're still teaching this. It's been dead for years. You know, it, Uh, let's, uh, so I'm going to play another clip from John Spicer on the same subject. The whole notion of recapitulation has reemerged again in the scientific literature. So the question is, do human embryos have gills? No, they don't, because they don't relive their evolutionary history. They're put together in a way that fits them for the environment that they're in. Does it matter? I mean, in one sense, you know, we get it with the students, you know, who cares? Well, in, in one way, some people care, people of a... Obviously, evolutionists care because they still try to you tout this as evidence, which it's not. So, if you go to Answers in Genesis, you can uh, look up the recapitulation theory, how embryology does not prove evolution. It's an article, and it will explain... The fact is, is that 
Ernest Hankel faked his drawings. And uh, it's been disputed many, many times. I mean, in an article from ICR, Dr. Keith Thompson is quoted as saying Haeckel misstated the evolutionary principle involved. It is now firmly established that ontogeny does not repeat phylogeny. Because that's actually the, the full term for this. It's uh, big words for basically meaning that as we go through our life cycle in the womb, we are going through the stages of evolution. And that people had gill slits at one. They're actually flaps in the neck. And it's a ridiculous concept. So I'm going to put links down below to the Answers in Genesis article and the Institute for Creation Research article. And I'm also going to put a link to the video Do Human Embryos Have Gill Slits? which was the video by John Spicer. So you can watch the whole thing if you want. But it was about a 10-minute span of him talking about sea snails. And I just didn't want to bore everyone to death. The fact is, is that if you believe in evolution, it is a religion you're believing in. It's the religion of evolution. It isn't proven in any way. In fact, in October 17, 2017, Cosmos Magazine put out an article about how CERN had disproven the Big Bang Theory. So you don't even have a beginning theory. So, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the video, or you can email me at redeemedinchristministries1 at gmail.com. Also, you can visit our website at redeemedinchristministries.com and I'd just like to end this in a prayer so uh, Lord, Father in Heaven I uh, thank you for the comments of Abdul that he had uh, he had enough push to comment on the videos I pray for his salvation that he comes to know the Lord Jesus Christ and that everyone comes to know the Lord Jesus Christ that you Use this video for your will to be done and to have more people come to know you, Lord. And we know this isn't a salvation issue, but it is an issue that pulls people away from your word and makes them doubt the legitimacy of the Bible. And I just want to give you the honor and the praise and praise and the glory. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Hey, I thank you for turning into this video. And on the next video, we're going to be talking about comparative anatomy. Have a great and wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. 